I barely unpacked from my trip to SummerSlam, but it's time to start talking about WrestleMania. What is going on out there, world? It's your boy Tommy on the spot for Watch Along Wrestling. Hopefully everyone is doing well and staying safe. It is so great to be back here with each and every one of you. Happy Friday, and if you are a WWE fan, it's most likely a very happy Friday for you. Because this morning, WWE WrestleMania 40 tickets officially went on sale. Obviously, this year, WrestleMania will be taking place April 6th and April 7th from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about all the details behind the tickets, the different price ranges for them, what to expect if you haven't gotten tickets, and I haven't, so don't worry, you're not alone, and so much more. But... Of course, if it's your first time visiting the channel, make sure you leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to Watch Along Wrestling. In this video, I'll also talk about whether or not I'm going to be going to the show and plans around that, so stay tuned. All right, so WrestleMania tickets went on sale actually earlier this week, and it's interesting because this is the first time I remember in a very long time that there was not any WrestleMania on sale ticket party. Uh, I went to one of those. You can actually go into the archives and check it out. I went to the WrestleMania on sale ticket party as a part of WrestleMania 36, if you remember that back, uh, obviously WrestleMania 36 was canceled, uh, but I did go down to Florida. I uh, spent a couple days with my main man Steve down in Orlando, Florida, and uh, went to Tampa uh, by myself for the WrestleMania on sale party. Uh, it was cool. It was it was, it was decent. I, I wouldn't say it was amazing, but last year when tickets went on sale for LA, they streamed the WrestleMania on sale party. It was like two, three hours long, and they had Fluffy Guy there. They had uh, Snoop Dogg there. That's where Snoop Dogg got the big WrestleMania belt that they kind of led to eventually him being the co-host for WrestleMania. And there was so much behind it that I was a little surprised that they didn't have too much behind WrestleMania 40. I think the only thing they really did was they sent Cody Rhodes down to Philadelphia and he had a little vlog that he put up, nothing too crazy. It was like four minutes or so. And they put that on the WWE YouTube page. It's cool, it's worth a watch. I'd uh, highly recommend checking it out. But with that being said, uh, that's really all they did, which is a little disappointing, especially it's the 40th uh, WrestleMania. It's a big deal for WrestleMania and obviously coming to Philadelphia for the first time since 1999. So you're looking at 25 years that they, they will have since the last WrestleMania in Philly. And I can tell you, I went to Extreme Rules in Philadelphia uh, just last year. Earlier this year, I went to Raw 30 in Philadelphia. These people are ready. They are stoked. They're ready to go. Uh, at Extreme Rules, they actually did the big unveiling of the WrestleMania on sale sign. Uh, the the the, uh, the logo, so to speak, for WrestleMania 40. Uh, they had the Eagles cheerleaders come out and start that whole deal. So the city's also very much behind WrestleMania coming. I think it's going to be great. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And, uh, and I can tell you, people are. They're very, very excited for this. And I think there was a little bit of nerves or maybe even an assumption that once... WWE left the arenas and started going to the stadiums that there would no longer be WrestleManias in the city of Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love, if you will, even though they are some of the most passionate wrestling fans that exist. And I thought similarly here to New York because of the fact that all of our outdoor stadiums don't have roofs. You have uh, City Field, Yankee Stadium, MetLife Stadium, all of those buildings and arenas and stadiums do not have roofs on top. And that's similarly to Lincoln Financial Field. So it's going to be a little cold for WrestleMania. I mean, you think about it, Philadelphia in the beginning of April can be very, very chilly. But nonetheless, WrestleMania is going to Philly and the city is really embracing it. They had some wrestlers down all week at Lincoln Financial Field for the Eagles game yesterday. They had a preseason game against the Browns. Uh, so you had Johnny Gargano was down there. Grayson Waller was down there. I had the aforementioned Cody Rhodes was all over the place doing a bunch of uh, uh, appearances. He's kind of really just jumped into that John Cena role. He's available to do all sorts of media. And, uh, and he's really just enjoyed it. And uh, it seems to be really the face of WWE. So he was all out and about. And uh, that's been cool to see. So I know the city's going to be excited about it. I know people will be excited about it. We'll break it all down as things come about. Uh, but let me talk to you guys about the price points for this. Because this was very, very pricey. And I will say this. Uh, WWE is on the verge. There's a couple of things. Number one. This is not the only WWE event that takes place in a stadium, right? Royal Rumble takes place in a stadium. SummerSlam takes place in a stadium. They've done an Elimination Chamber in a stadium this past year. They've had uh, a big event in Puerto Rico. Not a huge stadium, but still a big uh, a stadium for that. You've had, obviously, the shows in Saudi Arabia. Money in the Bank was in London. It wasn't at Wembley, but it was still uh, it was in an arena, but... Clearly, they're going to be going to bigger places when they start doing that. So if WWE has an expectation that fans 
are gonna be traveling in from all these types of shows, and I'm one of them. I just got back from, from SummerSlam a couple days ago. But now you're, literally, SummerSlam was August, what, 4th or 5th? And now August 18th, tickets go on sale for WrestleMania? It's like, they're, I, I give them credit, because Lord knows these tickets have sold like hotcakes. They're, they're going like crazy. But it does come to a point where you start to wonder, is WWE gonna price out their fan base? You're gonna have to pick and choose which shows you're gonna be going to. Case in point, I'll be perfectly honest with all of you, one of the reasons I didn't get tickets to WrestleMania this morning, and of course, I plan to go, right? I'm in New York, WrestleMania's in Philly. If I gotta go myself, I'll head down there to see the show. I mean, if I'm going to California, if I'm going to Texas, I'm gonna go to WrestleMania here in Philly. And I'm sure the family will come with. We have a newborn on the way in October. We'll figure it out. That's one of the reasons I didn't get tickets yet is because with all the stuff going on with my personal family life, uh, it's a little crazy. Uh, so we figured, hey, let's hold off and get tickets like we typically do as it gets closer to the show. I know some folks don't like to do that. Some folks like to have their tickets and, and kind of plan everything around there. We don't do that. We usually plan the, sh the, the trip and then we get tickets close to the show. Uh, another thing and another reason I didn't get tickets for, for WrestleMania is there's a rumor that the Royal Rumble is going to take place in Orlando or Tampa. And I absolutely love the combined Disney and wrestling trip. Uh, it's my favorite. I did it for WrestleMania 33, spent the entire week in the parks and then culminated at WrestleMania. I've done it a few other times, but really if I have the opportunity to potentially go to Orlando for Royal Rumble, I'm gonna jump on that. Even with a little tiny uh, youngster at home at the time, we'll, we'll, we'll make it work and we'll get out there for Florida. Uh, my, you know, as you guys know, my very good friend Steve is down in Orlando. I'm sure he'd want to go and we'd make it a really fun couple of days. So I held off in anticipation that that's going to be coming out and because I just did SummerSlam. So I'm like, all right, pump the brakes, WWE. We'll get there at some point. Um, but they are on the verge of, I think, really pricing out the casual fan. Uh, and I looked at the price points for this particular show. And yeah, they started as low as, I think it was $40. For a ticket and it went up from there and that was only the tippy top nosebleeds right like i'm talking tippy top nosebleeds way in the back you can't see much forty dollars from there the upper deck went from 40 to 50 to 70 to 80 to 100. nothing below a hundred dollars for a ticket is going to be anywhere other than the top section for wrestlemania and i get it it's wrestlemania but i also get that it's two days so i'm like for one night, they should have an option to kind of do, if you get a package, you should be able to get kind of a, a little bit of a price cut on some of these tickets. But if you want anything remotely like second section and on down, he's gonna run you $300 per ticket, two nights. So remember that, you're going, let's say you're going with a family of four, you're looking at $1,200, $2,400 to sit in the 200 section at WrestleMania. It's a lot of change, a lot of change. And if you want to sit down low, now we're getting into like thousands of dollars. The cheapest seat that's like 100s or below, I wanna say is $600 each. And on the floor, you're spending well over $1,000. And as you get closer, these will go up to $5,000 or $10,000. And I'm telling you right now, that's some of the only seats that were available when I checked on the pre-sale and when I went on there this morning. Now I know you could refresh and tickets always get reloaded. And if you haven't gotten your tickets yet, I'd say if you want to go and still get them ahead of time, if you refresh and keep going back and checking from now over these next six months, you'll probably go ahead and get be able to get tickets um, at those those points that are probably about $100, $200. For me, it gets to a point where it's like, for example, uh, night one of WrestleMania, we sat good seats right dead center away from the stage, but on the top. And those tickets were like 150 each. So it's like, do you pay 150 each or do you pay 250 each and sit down closer to the floor? Look at our second day of tickets. Those tickets were 250. They were released day of at WrestleMania for night two because initially we weren't sure we we're gonna go to night two. As crazy and wild as that sounds. Uh, but we eventually got tickets. We got them 250 each and it was really right there. I mean, perfect seats. One section up, dead center, ring right here, entrance right here, and they were pretty much perfect. So I'd say if you haven't gotten your tickets, yes, you can get them as it gets closer. But I will also say there have been a couple of times, New York in 2013, tickets were never really put on sale closer to the event for any sort of deal. Um, any like, if it's in a stadium, typically you'll find, be able to find seats. 
but be forewarned that this is not a guarantee. There's a chance that you would just need to either A, suck it up and just pay for, you know, whatever it is for tickets, or B, understand that you're running a risk that you may not get tickets for any sort of deal, and you may not be able to go to the show. So you're taking your chances by waiting. That being said, I'd say keep going, refreshing. Sometimes you refresh, you get more and more options for tickets. But I will say, I looked probably about an hour after they went on sale this morning, and the only things available were those $1,000 tickets right around ringside there, which is just, I mean, <laughs> at some point, it just becomes like a status thing. You take your photo down there, look how cool I am. I've got ringside seats for WrestleMania. I'm awesome. I don't know, not my bag, but I do know there's a lot of people who do that. So that's it, WrestleMania tickets on sale, and it'll go like this. Right now we're sitting here at August 18th, April 6th, April 7th, we'll be here before you know it, but hopefully the next time I come to you to talk about on sale tickets, it will be Royal Rumble, it'll be Orlando, it'll be Tampa Bay, but pump the brakes a little WWE, jeesh. You had a lot of people who just went to Detroit. Give us a little time to get back into the flow of things here, rather than still recovering from our trip. I haven't even done my experience video yet, and now we gotta talk about WrestleMania tickets. Hey, best time of the year, I get it. It's fun, you, you plan from SummerSlam to WrestleMania. Well, let's see, you know, Royal Rumble tickets on sale in September, WrestleMania tickets on sale in November. Perfect Christmas gift, great time for people to go out and get tickets. And then you can kind of uh, allow people to go to all the shows if they wanna do it. Anyway, just my two cents. WrestleMania 40 coming to Philly. It's going to be fun. If you got tickets, let me know in the comments section. And I certainly will have much more on WrestleMania in the months to come. Take care, everybody.